Whether you're vacationing in Myrtle Beach for the week or you live in Conway, one of the most frequent complaints often shared about Horry County is the lack of roadway infrastructure. Ian Klein joins us live from the control room now. And Ian, the Ride Improvement and Development Effort Committee is looking to address these concerns through the next road project program called Ride 4. So what can you tell us? Yeah, Ride 3 is set to expire in 2025 and has been funded through a one cent sales tax, which was voted on by Horry County residents in 2016, generating nearly $765 million. However, unlike Ride 3, which was able to spend that money on 19 different projects, Rising construction costs will likely shorten the list of road improvement projects for Ride 4, making this selection process much harder for the advisory committee. It has become very glaring uh, that the, the needs are growing far faster than the resources. The Ride 4 advisory committee submitted 34 projects, which are ranked based on priority and the Metropolitan Transportation Planning scores. Some of the top projects includes widening Big Block Road, Highway 90, and River Oaks Drive, along with redesigning the 544 interchange connecting to US 17 near Surfside Beach. Also presented to the committee was a capital improvement request from Coast RTA to increase their fleet and build a new maintenance and operation facility in Myrtle Beach. If you look at regions of 250 to 400,000, which we're pushing the 400,000 number now, they pull on average 50 buses, we pull out 19. If you look at any region of 650 to 850,000, which is what we are on any given summer day, they pull out 120. Um, we pull out 19. It's unclear if the Ride 4 funding can go towards the Coast RA improvements, but it will be brought up again at the next meeting in March. I really hope that we can help Coast RTA here. I think it needs to be, and like I said, 10 years from now when we have over 700,000 people here as well as the beach, people will wonder why we didn't have the foresight to do that. Most of the projects at the top of the list are focused on the eastern part of the county. Meanwhile, there are still several rural projects the committee does not want to be forgotten, such as paving dirt roads, which cost $1 million per mile. I feel like when you take this to the voters in a referendum, uh, you need to make sure that everyone feels like, yes, I'm receiving some actual benefit, i.e. the reason why we include the paving of dirt roads, mostly are in the western part of the county. The Ride 4 Advisory Committee also added to the record, any incomplete Ride 3 projects will be moved to the top of the Ride 4 list, spreading the estimated Ride 4 revenue even thinner. Whatever projects rise to a level of, a, of what this committee can agree on, it's going to end up being five, six, seven, eight projects versus the last ride plan were 19. If the Ride 4 levy passes, the county would begin collecting that sales tax in May of 2025 through April of 2032. Now, currently, the total cost for all those 34 projects submitted by the Ride 4 committee is about $3.3 billion, but only about $825 million is expected to be generated over that seven-year period if the levy were to pass in 2024. Live in the control room tonight, Ian Klein, WMBF News.